So I got an email from the Washington Crossing, the Delaware reenactors, asking if I wanted to be a reenactor. Naturally, I said yes. And he ended up standing up in one of the boats saying, you go, George, you go, George, you go, George. And one of the guys says, put the oar in the water and row. So I gave him a look, put the oar in the water, began to row, and said, you go, George, you go, George, you go, George. Look at the lousy equipment we use. No wonder there was so much trouble getting across. On December 18, 1776, Washington wrote to Augustine, Washington, if every nerve is not strained to recruit a new army with all possible expedition, I think the game is pretty near up. Many of the army enlistments were due to expire on the last day of 1776. There were two other parts of the army that were to attack Trenton that both failed to get across due to the weather. One part didn't get across at all, and the second group did get across but couldn't get the artillery landed, and so it drilled. Some of the guys who couldn't get across offered encouragement to Washington. We're with you, George. I got five bucks on you, George. Martha sends her love, George. What got Washington across was General John Glover and the Marbleheaders, comprised of fishermen, sailors, and mariners from Marblehead, Massachusetts, who were used to even worse weather and working conditions sailing in the ocean. Washington asked Glover about crossing the Delaware, and Glover said his boys could manage it. The second thing that Washington had going for him was Henry Knox, who oversaw the crossing and got all the artillery across. Because of the weather powder for the rifles got wet, but the artillery managed to keep its powder dry. The Hessians had been warned to expect an attack, but the weather was so bad the Hessians were not watch watchful. Two of the army froze to death on the eight mile march to Trenton, but none were lost crossing the Delaware. Washington captured about 900 Hessians and had everyone else rode back across the river. When the army started to arrive on the Pennsylvania side, the troops were saying, good job, George. Martha sends her love, George. I won five bucks, George. You go, George, you go, George, you go, George. Put the oar in the water and <laughs> row.